Welcome. I hope all is well. Hope all is well with you guys, <laughs> and I send you guys a lot of abundance, prosperity, love, and light, and sweet energy. Okay. Um, excuse my, you know, my grammar. Well, not really grammar. That would make sense because I'm not writing anything. Okay. Excuse how the way I'm um speaking right now. My, you know, Mercury retrograde, as you can see. All right, and it's really pulling on me. You guys, so my little thought process is a little wonky, but for the most part, I'm getting these messages out, okay? And I got spirit here patting me on the back, helping me along the way. So before we hop in, I'm gonna just pull some oracle cards for you guys to see what the, what is the divine message for you all, what spirit wants you all to know at this time currently. So spirit guides, ancestors, universe, Archangel Michael, I invoke thee for protection at this time as I shine these messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Jupiter. Thank you. Ashe, please shield me and protect me as it is. I mean, so be it. Also, this is for the sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, this is not going to resonate with all of you um, Libras out there. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, my videos are a bit timeless. Okay, well, they are timeless, but this is going to be for June, okay? Um, so let's keep going. All right, so we have the high priestess that flipped out. Harness mystic power. Tapping into your power, Libra, is that what you're doing? Harness mystical power. You guys are very mystical. You guys are high priestess, or you guys are high priestess in the past life. You guys have a lot of ancient blood, Libra. Yeah, you guys got a lot of ancient blood. It's very special here. You guys can even have ancient ancient Egyptian blood in you. Like your one of your um ancestors are um linked to ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt. Okay. Then we have air guardian. Shift your pers your perspective. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Shift shift your perception here with this air garment. <laughs> I told you guys it's a Mercury. But well, anyway, this is your energy. So you guys are going through a, a, a state of like transformation and rebirth. You guys are tapping into, you know, the core part of you that is um that is important, spirit is saying. All right, mirror guardian, take time to reflect. So I feel like at this time. You guys are shifting into um, your power here, okay? You guys are tapping into your ancestral side. You guys are looking up things about your ancestors or you guys are really just into your spirituality. And Spirit wants you to shift your perception here because there's some things from the past that you're reflecting that you need to let go. It's almost like for you to be your true authentic self, you have to reflect on these things, okay? And you need to kind of shift your perspective a bit because it's like you guys are still um suffering from outdated thinking all right it could be from, linked from some type of trauma that you're trying to release at this time a lot of people are releasing a lot of traumas here libra so let's see what else spirit you guys are thinking a lot your head could be a bit in the clouds here because you guys are trying to find yourself yeah find your your soul purpose i'm getting as well finding your true power here yeah you guys feel powerful but you don't know where that power is coming from but you feel like you should be doing something with this power libra white witch be the light did i say light i feel like i did maybe i did it but this is basically what i'm saying is that you guys got some type of core light within you okay that is going to help you be your true authentic self that's going to almost activate your true authentic self and you're finding that light so you guys could be doing a lot of soul searching dark night of the soul that's why you're doing shadow work but some of you guys could be baby witches or you guys could be baby light workers if any regardless you guys are working with this light you guys have a lot of wisdom you guys are very wise with this owl here all right some of you guys are into the occult with this this star that's right here and that's the five-pointed star one two yeah I have to look into that. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, and with this, what's this, a moth? Looks like a moth. All right, you guys are just wise and old souls, okay? And some of you guys are interested in the occult, okay? Some of you guys do spells. I'm getting remedies, work with herbs, you know. Yeah, spell work, I'm getting you guys do a lot. You guys are interested in that. Make sure you're connected with your spirit guides and ancestors first before you start dabbling into spells and rituals, okay? Because these times are very sensitive. The veil is about gone. It's about gone, okay? It's super thin, so anything can just chime in here. So if you're doing candle magic, make sure you're setting boundaries for one and you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your sacred space and everything like that, okay? 
but yeah your ancestors are trying to give you this 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 key here this power here yeah they're trying to give you give you it's almost like trying to it's, it's almost like opening the path for you for you to find your soul's purpose so it's like it's almost your time libra to find to get on your journey all right at this time yeah, we have snake shed old skin. I did. I said. I did say that in the beginning. You guys need to shift your shift your perception of things and let go of the past. Here, see from a higher perspective. Again, yes, that makes sense. You guys need to see the traumas and the pains that you've been through from a higher perspective. So look at it as I went. I went through that to make me stronger, to build me. This is, you know, we believe it or not, we actually on the afterlife choose who we meet. So they can build us along our soul's journey here. So that's why we will have soulmates, karmic soulmates, karmics, period. You know, whoever in our life, they're all in our life for a reason to teach us and to help us grow. And I feel like instead of you being upset and mad that it happened to you, you need to accept it and accept it as in it helped me become stronger and made me who I am. If I didn't experience that, who knows who would have came along my life and done me worse. Seer. See beyond the current situation. That's why you guys are dabbling into spells. You are very intuitive and psychic here. You're tapping into your abilities and you're instantly going into manifestation. And I feel like that's you subconsciously subconsciously wanting a better life for yourself, of course, naturally. So you're gonna your power is gravitating you to manifesting. But you really need to tap into your, your subconscious mind in the sense of like your higher self. Okay, that's what I meant to say, your higher self, so you can gain this knowledge and wisdom. Okay. Pull you some tarot. You guys are into tarot. Y'all watching it? That means you gotta be into it. Let's get let's get one more spirit guys ancestors. Let's get one more. Spirit fox. Trust your talents and changing time. Yes, I listen. White witch, trust your talents and changing times. I just said you guys are trying to manifest yourself out of poverty. If you guys not really poverty, probably, but you know, manifest a better life for yourself. But you guys need to trust your talents because some of you guys have intuition. It's like you want to do the spells but you're not trusting your intuition. So you guys need to trust your intuition. Trust that you could be clairvoyant, clear audience, clear audience, basically clear psychic knowing. Trust that because your your talents is going to help you in changing time. So your manifestations are going to work. All right, but make sure you're manifesting from a healthy state of mind and not just for want, want, want needs. Make sure you're manifesting from a pure heart, okay? Wise one. I just said y'all are wise. Grow within your current situation. Spirit wants you to grow within your current situation. Again, do not look at it as I took a loss. I took a, you know, I I, I um, was dumb or, you know, I feel insecure because I do, don't do that about yourself, Libra. Grow within your current situation. Do better. Like I said, I, I know better, I do better type of energy, okay? So I'm excited for you guys. Y'all about to go on a journey here. Instantly, I'm picking up jealousy from people here. Oracle, wait for the important message and sight, see your sight, set your sights higher. So I feel like this is confirmation for me that I am picking up. Y'all gonna have some haters. Y'all gonna have some fucking haters. They're gonna be mad that you're tapping into your magical sign and into your magical side and manifesting and being this oracle libra so just be careful okay and set your sights higher if you see that someone is giving you side eye or they're treating you a certain type of way let that you know let them go do not distrust your intuition trust it okay because you're an oracle here you guys are a seer you guys can feel things before it happens all right that's your ancient ancestors giving you these beautiful gifts because they're yours and they're giving it to you you're ready for them Wow, my north node is Libra. So I can just feel this energy for you guys. It's like beautiful. And I'm October 23rd, so I'm a Scorpio Libra cuss. But I'm a bit indecisive, like a Libra, but I'm more Scorpio. <laughs> but I love my Libras. I do. I was supposed to be a Libra, actually. I'm telling you, I too much my business. Anyways, Libra, so yeah, I'm excited for you guys. <laughs> I'm super excited. Let's see what's going on for you guys in love, okay? Let's see what's going on for you guys in love. Y'all don't mind me singing, okay? Let's see. Spare God's ancestors in the universe. Y'all need to get out of fear. Get out of fear. Get out of fear. You guys are doing love, spe um, love spells. Some of you guys can be doing love spells, but you guys are doing spells and rituals and things like that. You need to get out of fear because you're just going to attract fear. That's what I mean by being careful. Okay? Because if, if you're in fear, they're not going to work. It's not going to work. You got to be in that love frequency. Use some crystals. 
that crystal fell for a reason. Use some crystals here. I have a clear quartz here. I have a lot of crystals. I just don't have them displayed. Okay. Once I get a better setup, I will have most. Oh, and 1010. I just saw 1010. That's letting me know that your ancestors are watching you. But anyway, yeah, get you some clear quartz. Get you some rose quartz, some soda lights. Soda lights is good. Um, amethyst, tiger eye. Get you some crystals, y'all. All right, so spirit, God, the ancestor, universe. What's going on with Libra pretending love here? What's going on with Libra pretending love? That's too many. What's going on with Libra pretending love? All right, let's see. What's going on with y'all? Queen of Wands. Mm, the moon here. Oh! Listen, you guys love the spiritual stuff. You guys love the spiritual stuff for real. All right. Six of cups here in the reverse here, though. Y'all could be dealing with someone from your past. But I'm picking up instantly, instantly that y'all love the spiritual stuff. And y'all about to go through a deep transformation and rebirth. Like a spiritual rebirth here. Now, in love, you guys are going to be... Y'all are receiving some intuitive hints and downloads as well. All right. Stop Stop telling people your business. Please. Please stop telling people your business. I literally just got out of... Out of mind you, I'm a Libra North Node. I just got out, out of a situation where I was telling bitches my business. Okay? Two bitches try to hurt me with magic. Not saying that's going to happen for you guys. But just stop telling people your business. Because these people be really hating and they be jealous. Okay? They take the spiritual stuff like superpowers. It is, but this is a lifestyle. This ain't no hoopla nonsense okay and you got some people that's ignorant and they don't take it seriously like the way we would be bro okay so just stop telling people your business straight up and down all right now with love somebody's going to be revealing to you their true feelings here they're going to be com coming in communicating with you they're going to be coming in pretty fast that could be that retrograde energy bringing an ex back around with it's like confessing their feelings for you but you moved on from this person a long time ago you sure did these are people from your past five of cups here and they're in, a, in regret. They're in regret of how they treated you. Okay. This is a bit like unknown for some of you guys as well with this moon card in reverse. Because for some of you guys, this could be some your your person coming back around, com confessing themselves, and you guys are gonna start a new beginning here. All right. So let's see. But I feel like that's for some people. That's not really a big energy I'm picking up. For some of you, most of you guys, there's an ex. Coming out of the blue, I want you. And you done moved on from this person a long time ago, Libra. Long, long time ago. You guys need to change your mental, your thought patterns. Your thought patterns aren't, aren't really good. They're very, they're, they're not healthy. They're negative. Switch it up. Yeah, Queen of Swords here in reverse. You guys have, are, have some negative thought patterns that you need to cut out of your life. But again, I don't know who this ex is. This is your energy, Libra. But you ain't studying them. I'm getting the sense that you're going to hear what they have to say, but they're not going to get the response that they that they want from you. I'm going to clarify that Queen of Swords here in reverse because you have no feelings. You're completely detached from this person. Whoever this person is. Ten of Coins. I'm telling you, they're coming now confessing. They even going to be saying, I want to marry you. I had dreams of, get, of us getting married and having kids. I want long-term commitment with you. After you as long-term goals. Goals. No. <laughs> laugh okay one of my spirit guys he's really funny i feel like that was him sending me that <laughs> but anyway this person is, is is bullshit they don't even know how to fix their own life so how can they come in and try to fix you and fix this relationship that's what i'm getting you're the empress here you go right here libra you could be dealing with a taurus have taurus in your chart but you're abundant you're like with that ancestor there with the ancient the ancient egypt you guys are royalty the hell are you wasting your time with this the scrub no that's what you're saying to yourself i'm not wasting my time with them like this person could have been a bit scrubby for real for real yeah as you're moving on the past is coming back around for some of you guys it could be karmics that's coming back around but this this is the past for sure but this, i'm gonna clarify that well of fortune in reverse as well king of wands this person is coming towards you and this is their energy they could be a fire sign but this person they could be sexy they could look good okay have tattoos or whatever like that but I feel like they wasn't open for passion and they wasn't open for love to you. Like, they just didn't take love seriously, Libra. When it came down to you, they didn't take love seriously. 
And that's why, you know, you called judgment on the situation and you saw the truth for what it is with the two of swords reverse. Like, this person is not giving me commitment. They probably even told you that they wasn't trying to look for a commitment. So, at that point, you had no choice but to call judgment on the situation and move on. And now they want to come back around with some conflicting shit. They could be a Leo. Aries or Sagittarius. I already said that. But with this clock here, they, they, they definitely came back around. The time is ticking, I'm hearing. They're coming back around or they already have. But I feel like the energy is pulling them back to you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> anyway, let's go ahead into this Queen of Swords here. Yeah, you guys blocked this person. You guys blocked them a while ago. But just block communication, period. Like you guys just wasn't talking to this person. Yeah, y'all have been stopped communicating with this person. I'm like an a bit and I'm confused because you guys moved on with this Queen of Wands. And that's what y'all saying. Like, I'm confused. Like, you said you didn't want to be with me. And you just coming out of the blue messaging me saying that you want to be with me. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Let me clarify the Eight of Wands, too. The world, again, you guys are telling them, I completed this cycle with you. It's over. It's done. That chapter is completed. That cycle is complete. This person could be a fixed sign. So, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo, all right? You're fool in reverse. You guys are holding back. You're telling them, no, you're not giving them another chance. You're not taking that leap of faith and giving them another chance at all. It's like you guys learned the lesson already. You guys learned the lesson. You don't need to go back into this situation. You don't need to open up that door again and open that cycle up. And I feel like you guys feel that intuitively. Right when I said that, the star. So, intuitively, you feel like you shouldn't give this another chance. And I feel like, you know, let me see, why is the star here? There's something new coming in for you guys here. But well, we have justice here in the reverse. There's something new coming in. Yeah, you guys are coming out of a cycle. Oh, okay now. So, you guys are coming out of a karmic cycle here with this Double hair reverse, justice card in reverse, and the three of cups. The three of cups let me know that you guys are going to be stepping into a new cycle of good news, abundance, you know, good time, celebration here. But I feel like there's something new coming in, something inspirational, like you're going to receive your wish. All right? You're going to receive your wish. All right? You cutting this person out, you're going to receive someone new. This could even be a reconciliation with someone new here. Yeah, but I feel like with this nine of wands here in reverse, seven of wands in reverse, and the hang woman... The hangman, for me, reverse upright and stagnant energy. But I feel like you guys finally surrendered to some shit. You guys finally surrendered and let it go. And that's what's bringing in this new cycle. And I feel like whatever it is that you surrendered and let go, I don't feel it's this person. I just feel like it's you working on yourself and you healing yourself and you tapping into your spiritual side. That is what's going to get you, you know, this um this star, your wish fulfillment. Some of you guys are desire, are meant to be a star here. All right, some of you guys with this world, you're going to be known all over the world. Some of you guys have a lot of potential, a lot of talents, okay? Very inspirational, okay? And you guys are almost surrendering this old life to attract something new. That, that's nothing, like I said, you guys are doing a lot of manifesting. You guys are, it's almost like you guys are on a road to greatness and success. And you guys are like on that path of really building and building success and abundance. Emotional fulfillment getting your wish that's what you guys are doing right now excuse the sun you guys i love you son but you know like, i hope it's not messing with your, your vision um so yeah let's go into this um this will of fortune here in reverse i meant to clarify the eight of wands so why is the will of fortune here in reverse three of coins here yeah, there's going to be about three karmics that haven't learned the lesson yet so they're coming back around to you because they have no one else to call to the call on no one else to leech off of because their past relationships failed and ended there's going to be like about three karmics two to three karmics or even one one to three karmics that's going to come back around libra okay because they're going through their own transformation oops because the death card also represent transition so i feel like they're going through a transition right now where it's like they're kind of coming out of their old player ways all right or they're trying to like let go of some type of pain and grief that they cause to other people because it's karma all right they're going through a rebirth that's what I have to say, a rebirth. All right, and the first person they thought of is you with this page of wands here. And they're going to be coming in with communication. Let's keep going. 
Ten of Cups here in reverse. Yeah. Pretty self-explanatory with the cherry here in reverse. Yeah. You're not going to get emotional fulfillment from these people. And we just said you're going to, you're on the road to getting your emotional fulfillment. You're not going to get it from these people here. There's going to be a lot of blockages, obstacles, things just going, control, losing control in the relationships, you guys. It's, it's, it's like, no. Not, they're not ready with the Knight of Wands. Not, they're not ready for what you're about to do. I just saw 2020 on the clock. They're not ready for what you're about to do when it comes down to your, your spiritual path and your, your career. Because some of you guys may even just have a career with your spirituality. Or you guys just may just attract the life that you always wanted to live. Because manifesting your dreams, this person is not ready for that. They ain't ready for that, Libra. They ain't ready for that. Let's see what else. Let's see, why is the Eight of Wands here? Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a block, restraint. Did I say this person has a block? Um, well, I did say that you guys blocked them. But this person is also a bit stagnant and they have a block here. Okay, they're blocked. Literally, their life is, is, is stagnant. And I feel like, you know, a lot of, oh man, this is karma. This person is suffering from karma. They hurt, they hurt a lot of people, not just you. And I feel like there is almost like they're receiving so many messages and downloads about these people who they hurt. And it's like they feel a sense of compassion for these people now. And now they feel like they need to reach out and try to make things right. And I feel like, you know, I'm getting a, a train reaction. Like they're just reacting based on how they feel. This is not them trying to get with you is not going to give them a sense of closure and, re and relief they need to actually forgive themselves and work on themselves so they're going through again a rebirth the ego death here all right but they I don't, i'm not gonna say they're addicted to you they're just codependent okay they're trying to relieve and well yeah relieve and release this grief that they're feeling all right yeah we have seduction and mirror i was literally about to say that mirror that it's a mirror effect okay we re re relationships reflect our wounds that's literally what this person is suffering from they're reflecting on how they hurt other people in their past relationships and seductions. Okay, they was very flirtatious. Okay, very seducing, third party interference. Very, they was tempting, so they like to tempt other people. They like to get their way. They was a player. The sword and the rose, and I feel like that's the truth. Clarity, truth, revelation, force, honor, protection, and power. Okay, and solidarity. Okay, so yeah, you guys are protecting yourself. You're 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 gaining your power back for one. All right, and that's the truth and clarity. And this person is having a revelation that they was hurting other people here. Let's see why it's the death card here. Mask. Yeah, you see, they was running. They was running from their true selves because they know their true self is, is not a good person. I don't want to say any shit, but their true self, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Not showing true feelings, high, personified, pretend, gas, deluding, gaslight. They gaslight a lot to try to deflect the problems from them onto you. That's why they were gaslight okay and now with this they're reminiscing on the broken hearts here i'm telling you guys they're reminiscing on the broken hearts with that camera Remin reminiscing keepsake perception learn from mis learn from the past make memories and heartbroken they're learning from these heartbreaks that they caused all right and with this girl and the snake there was a girl and a snake yeah. empath and narcissistic paradigm being charmed or used enable boundary boundaries they will they will break through people's boundaries just to get what they want, okay? So they will manipulate and lie and be a narcissist, all right? And now they're feeling all that, that um, they're feeling all of that, and they're feeling stupid. They're feeling dumb. So I, that's the current energy in love right now. And you could be feeling this person as well. You probably was feeling them right before they came back around. So we're going to go into your highest hopes. Um, I guess we can, I don't really feel like y'all care about what's on this person's mind. So we'll just go into um, any challenges or obstacles. That's what I meant to do in Virgo. So yeah, let's look into your challenges and obstacles, actually. No, highest hopes. I feel highest hopes. So yeah, let's go into your highest hopes. Let's see. Hangman, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're hoping that you're coming out of this stagnant energy here. Like, you're hoping that all the surrendering and the releasing that you're doing is working. All right? Because, like I said, a lot of you guys are doing rituals on yourself as well. I feel like those rituals is working, but you got to come out of fear when it comes down to manifesting because your thought patterns aren't right. You got to think positive to attract that, what you to, to attract what you want. Ten of Swords here in reverse. You guys are releasing karma, karmic debts, okay? Generational curses, whatever. I feel like you guys are doing a lot of rituals on yourself to release 
pain and suffering so you can have a clear path. You guys can even be doing open road rituals here. All right. There are angels around you with this Knight of Cups that's helping you. Okay. This could be an Archangel. Archangel Michael could be around helping you guys. Stop cutting these cords. All right. Ace of Wands here in the reverse. All right. So, five. Yeah. You guys are coming out of conflict here. Yeah. And I feel like you are a protected. No weapon form against you shall prosper here with this Hangman and Ace of Wands here in the reverse. And I feel like if somebody does try to hurt you, like I said, there's an angel around you, they're going to be hanged. All right, and not literally hang, but you know, they're gonna get what's coming for them. But yeah, seven of wands here in reverse with the ten of swords here in reverse. You let all that shit go, you released all that resentment and heavy burdens. That's why we this ex coming around, you guys just like, What the hell you want? Because you guys are in a free spirit. It looked three of cups flipped out. Oh, that was already there, but I saw that again because you guys are coming into a lot of celebration and good news, and you guys are in a high vibration right now. It's almost like you guys don't even care what didn't work out for you, all right. And when I was doing some of my new videos on my Instagram and on my old channel, because I just made this channel, y'all was going through a lot of shit. And it feels, and I feel like you guys are finally coming out of that. And I feel like that feels fucking good. Yeah. Let's see what else is coming in for your highest hopes. Two of cups here in the reverse. Yeah, you guys don't want no more karmics. You guys want a peaceful soulmate connection here. I feel like your highest hopes right now is to eventually have new love come towards you but with this temperance card i feel like you guys just want time for yourself you just want to manifest for yourself and you know just get your life on track here you guys kind of want to get away from these these false relationships these false karmic relationships here these old soulmates because i'm not getting y'all are dis. i mean obviously you're disconnected from someone you're not connected to these people but i feel like this is also making peace with the past as you're cutting these cords you're, you're gaining peace and you're moving forward here nine of cups here in reverse i feel like you guys see that these people were no good for you but this nine of cups here in reverse that there was a manipulator again like i said there was childish there was a there was emotionally unavailable and they, they will pry on your emotions and prey on your emotions here they were just overly controlling yeah, we have page of coins. You guys are learning a lot about spirituality. The temperance card is balance. Spiritual balance, physical balance, just balance overall, yin yang. You guys, and with the page of pentacles, you guys are learning a lot. You see all those books? You guys are learning about karma, karmic debt. That's what made you go ahead and clear that karma. Okay, you guys are learning about angels. Okay, the spiritual side. You guys could be learning about, you know, you guys are literally a bridge from the spiritual world and the physical world. Could you guys have a pure heart? That's why people be so fucking jealous of you and they be hating on you because your heart is pure and they feel it and they wish they can be that way and they can't. <laughs> not yet. You guys have nothing to worry about. Okay, with this not of wands here in verse. Because it's like you guys are surrendering to heavy energies. Like, because the, the not of wands could be like psychic attacks here. And I feel like you guys were suffering from a lot of psychic attacks because you was picking up on other people's energies. All right. Let me see, why is this not a one to reverse? But I feel like you guys are protected moving forward. Yeah, six of cups. Mm, you need to protect your energy from the past. That's the thing. That's why y'all suffering from psychic attacks and you guys are feeling this person. Y'all need to protect your energy from this person. I feel like overall you're protected. No weapon form against you shall prosper. Yes, we already said that. But the past is still connected to you energetically. Even though you cut these cords, they're still thinking about you. And that's not going to stop them from thinking about you. So you need to protect your energy. Okay. Yeah, magician here in reverse. That's one thing that you guys I don't know. I don't want to say y'all not doing it, but that's one thing that you guys need to do is protect your energy from these people so they won't be a, taking you like a, taking your energy, all right? Cuz when they're thinking of you, they're pulling on your energy, all right? And then you will feel it energetically and then you will pick up their emotion as your own or you'll instantly instantly think of this person or you will hear a song that reminds you of them. Or you will see something that reminds you of them. That's them thinking of you, okay? Two of swords here in reverse. That's the truth. That's the clarity. If you guys been feeling a bit stagnant still, it's because these exes are still pulling on you. And you need to cut them out. You need to um, protect your energy. Okay? Okay, so let's go into your challenge and then your outcome. What's the challenge? So we have the lovers here in reverse. Like I said, these soulmates, they're going to be trying to fight for you. All right, they're going to be trying to come back around. Even though y'all did all that cord cutting, they're still going to be trying to come back around. It's like, that's how you know it worked. The moment that you cut a cord, 
they come they come back or you remember you or the moment you banish energy you you know they try to come back around that's how you know it works okay i did a cord cutting with my baby father that day i know my spirit guys actually did this for me they cut it for me that morning they told me we we cut that cord he come popping up in front of the house <laughs> so this person could literally be doing things like that like you ain't answering my call let me pop up okay it depends on who you're dealing with but I feel like a lot of you guys been moved on from this person here. They probably used to pop up at the house. Yeah, Knight of Wands, they used to rush in and come towards you. <laughs> they used to rush in and come towards you, okay? And I feel like that's you don't want that. You're trying to make peace with that. You, you don't even want to be mad with these people. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Sagittarius, a Taurus, a Sagittarius again. Four, yeah. These people are still holding on to you. That's that's the current challenge and obstacle that these people are still holding on to you here. They are. They're still holding on to you. They haven't let you go. They still see you as a soulmate. They still have that passion and desire. You're focusing on something else. This apple here. So your apple will be your fruition, your abundance. And they're still focusing on the flame and the passion that you guys have. All right. Yeah, look, we have the um, eight of swords that flipped out here. So they're all in their head about how they treated you and how how they treated you badly um libra they're all in their head about it they regret like i said that's that karma high priestess here in reverse you see it was already revealed to you via intuition that this person is not going to change and that they're a player and that they're flighty and that they're non-committal and, and they even told you that they wasn't trying to take things seriously for some of you guys i feel you guys just need to continue to move forward here. Why is God please to see in the reverse? You guys trusted this person here. Hell yeah, you guys trusted this person. You thought that they was willing to build a relationship, be patient, and they wasn't. They was very stagnant. They wasn't moving anywhere. They wasn't putting in any hard work or effort in this, in this relationship. They was being a, knight of, a king of wands. Okay, just in and out. Many people desired this person, so they will entertain all those many people. All right? And I feel like you gain the truth and clarity about this. And you're not investing your time and energy in this person. And I feel like now you guys are going to block this person from, from thinking of you and, and affecting you energy. Not stop them from thinking of you unless you do like a, a spell to stop them from doing that. And I wouldn't recommend you temper with someone's free will. But you're going to do something for them to stop messing with you energetically so you can stop feeling them. I feel that's what you're going to do now because we have the nine of pentacles here because you're free. You're independent, you're single, you're abundant, you're doing you, and this person's in regret, all right? Because they see you for, they see you working hard, and they see you doing your, you're doing your thing, and you're doing you. They see you working, they see you collecting your coins, they see you crafting, coming up with, you know, creations and new ideas. If they stalk you on social media, they could be for some, but I feel like they see it, they, it's like they saw you doing better without them, okay? And they regret it. And that's the current challenge right now is you just blocking these people out completely. Protecting your energy from them as well. You gotta protect your energy from them. So let's see, let's go into your outcome spirit. What's the outcome? Strength card reverse, eight of cups here in reverse. Mm, the sun here in reverse. I'm getting a strong sense that you guys aren't really worried about the past because you're completely moving forward from it. You know, if you were to go back into the past, it's gonna keep you stuck emotionally. And you're not going to be in a good vibration. It's kind of going to throw you off your path here. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, and you guys aren't giving into any situation that's weak. That's literally what I'm hearing. So if you feel like the situation is not up to your standards, or if you feel like this person is, is if you just, any, any feeling, any intuitive feeling that you get that's off, you're not going to pursue it. From now on, you're going to be discerning and be using your intuition. Because lately... In these past relationships, you would ignore the red flags, this two of coins in reverse. And I feel like now the outcome is, is that you're going to avoid these, these red flags here. All right. We have to pay the cups here in reverse. And you know that these people are just lying. You feel like they're just telling you these things just so they can get their way. You don't really feel that connection anymore. I feel like, and again, you guys don't really have strong feelings for this person either. Yeah, it's a coins here in reverse. You know it's a missed opportunity. You know it's not going to manifest into something beautiful. You know that. It's not going to manifest the way you want. So let, let's go into spirit advice and then we are done. So we have the page of wands. I should use the oracle card. 
Ten of Cups here in reverse in judgment. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Keep manifesting. Keep cooking it up in the kitchen. So I, that's the ritual, your manifestations. Okay, keep doing what you're doing here. All right, try not to pay too much attention into, you know, how these people took advantage of you in a sense with this Queen of Cups in reverse. Try not to pay too much attention to that. Just call judgment on the situation and continue to move on and release. Yeah, Three of Swords here in reverse with the Six of Wands because I feel like you guys are going to receive some type of... um success here and abundance and type of achievement is going to be um like you guys like achieve something here you guys are going to receive some type of karmic reward three of swords here in reverse you guys will continue to come out of this this being hurt energy be hurt energy yeah and no longer being um codependent on on your emotions that is causing you that's making you feel less of yourself okay sometimes our thoughts and our emotions can do that i, I feel like i done gave y'all everything i need to i feel like i'm just overdoing it honestly i feel like i'm just overdoing it libra <clears throat> just keep doing what you're doing and don't give in to these people and these karmics in in their emotional in their in their lives because they're emotional manipulators just keep continuing to call judgment and move on because you're about to receive some good some good financial payout okay libra so thank you all so much for tuning in. I love y'all and see you guys in the next one. Namaste. Mwah.